I think there's a stream, because I remember uh, Wolf Scratch was doing commentary for that. So there's a stream for that. Um, most definitely. So check that out, guys. I think it's the YouTube. If you guys are not familiar with it, uh, definitely check out the SilkHouseSmash.net page. And it'll probably just link you to it like, right away. That website is... Yes. It is, in my opinion, the greatest thing since Smash.gg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> like for local SoCal, it's, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Of course, Luna on the Cloud. He's been a Cloud mate ever since Smash 4. Mm -hmm. One of the very few people that played Cloud that kept playing Cloud <laughs> in all Ultimate. Uh, Cloud, not the... I, I, I wouldn't say he's like bad, but he's definitely a uh, shell of his former self. That is really true. Uh, he has a shadow of his former self. His Nair got transferred to Ridley, and he never got that Nair back. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you mentioned he's a, he's a Cloud mate from Smash 4. He got his name beating Elegant. I can't remember what tournament. But that's where his name started to slowly pop up, and then right, since right. then he's been like, you know, a, a pretty, pretty force to be reckoned with. Uh, he's talked about how he's like, I think he's going to be moving to NorCal at some point. I don't know how true that is. Uh, he was talking about it a little while back. Yeah, let's jump into game one here. Lieutenant Surge versus Luna. See what I'm telling you, man. This guy's got the most patient neutral. He's just standing there and he's waiting for it, but he makes the opening first and he makes the mistake. Yeah, I mean, Luna being the cloud player, he can charge limit. He definitely gained something. And the one, one thing about Ryu over Ken, I do think Ken is way better than Ryu. Mm -hmm. But Ryu does have the better fireballs. He can mix up uh, how fast his fireballs are moving. You can see uh, even like the, the blue ones and the red ones, like he can do a slow one, he can do a fast mm -hmm. one. So it, it, it can be a little bit tricky and neutral to yeah. deal with that. See, that's the slow one right there. I do like the fact that Luna's also going for Aerial Blade Beam because he's trying to challenge him. Like, okay, if he's going to go in with Fireball, he might be trying to move in afterwards. Oh, wow. Okay, well, Surge thinks that Ken sucks. <laughs> Yo, man, I want to talk to him, man, because uh, I, I think Nito has a few words to say, even though he's not here this week. Back air to put him off the stage here. Edge guard situation. You mentioned how limit's so important here. He's already got it on deck for 15 seconds of fame. Yeah, this he can't side B right here. Yeah, so he has to go low, and that is going to get caught up with the neutral B. Luna not extending out with the cross slash like most clouds might, but just waiting patiently with that blade beam. Yeah. Down so nice, and he stalls the second one for a backer and immediately into the cross slash. A great play. Edge guard plays in his hands here, and he reads the roll, got up. Dang. Right now, Luna moving all over the plate. Uh, really just doing a really good job of pump faking him and just getting all this damage. Luna still has three stocks, 88% already on to Surge. What is the answer? And it, it's rough because even like the neutral, I just feel like Luna has the advantage because he's got that Buster Sword. He has the range. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for Surge to kind of get Luna to mm. like kind of bait him into, into his range, right? Yeah. And I do like the way that Luna kind of came back on the stage too because he was looking to set up boxing for a back air, but he went in for the damage with the cross slash. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That, that is a feels bad, but you know what? Surge will take it straight to the bank. Yeah, I'm well trying to live off of welfare. Uh, <laughs> oh, what, what a what a what a mix up, dude! He got empty, hopped to down smash, and he fell out. That hurts. Oh, can can we get the moves to work though? <laughs> yeah, facts, man. I'm sorry. You said he was a shadow of a former self, man. Uh, I mean, that would happen sometimes. <laughs> smash four, but geez, dude, that was like the first down smash of the night. Yeah. <laughs> no intangibility. Okay. Dude, nice. Wait. Is there a double jump on this? Okay, he has a double jump. But yeah. Luna just waiting on the list. And yeah. Oh. Wow. Didn't even get it through here. And the I'm thing about so upset right now. I'd be upset if you do that. <laughs> oh, no. He should be dead twice already. <laughs> like, my, my man's uh, definitely dropped. Okay. Okay, there's the up smash. I'm going to finish off that stock that should have been finished quite some time ago. But nonetheless, Surge trying to get this comeback. And are, are you done? Oh, wow. He kind of like tried to go for a mix-up there. Mm -hmm. Good up there. Nice. Oh, I like the upbeat because it breaks the focus as well. Really smart for yeah, He sends up those. That's definitely usually the trait you would see between Ken and Ryu's, right? Focus attack after the first hit and then try to land and sneak something into you. So we don't have a great uh, presence of mind to actually just go for the upbeat. The upbeat and can he get the stock? He doesn't get the hard hit, the scooping hitbox of that short you can oh and there's the charge and <laughs> he kinda just pushed him with yeah. him. That's that's funny. He he did the he did the, the, the concept of like oh no he's not off the stage yet. Yep, can't pressure my shield with that up tilt. I do have up the out shield. Very, very quick option for Cloud. Down here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to set it up here. And the back air immediately to swipe him to the left side, man. I never like you get off my screen. 
Yeah, and this is, I think this is a great matchup for Luna. Mm -hmm. um, and he's playing it really well, too. He he knows that he's dealt with Smash 4 Ryu. So yes. he's played Smash, <laughs> and Smash 4 Ryu was way, way better he was than leagued. Ultimate. He's leagues. I mean, if you guys are thinking like Ryu is something, like Smash 4 Ryu was something. Yeah. You guys never had it hard. Yeah. You guys never lived the hard life, man. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. Straight up. Most hated character in Smash 4. <laughs> Some of you kids are privileged, man. Yeah, but, man. I mean, in, in this game, he just doesn't he doesn't kill as early. And then, no. especially when Luna has that range advantage, it's, it's going to be really tough. I like this coming out from Surge. He's going to final destination. No more platforms for Luna to work with here. Just a straight, flat stage. This is as a, a Street Fighter as you get. Yeah. Most definitely. There's this down tilt into the Tokunatsu, and it's going to be, oh, long way there. I don't know how you do anything the wrong direction with uh, Ryu and Ken. The game literally turns them around for you. <laughs> <laughs> the, character has, the character legitimately has like, autocorrect. Like I, I actually don't even know how you, you go for that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Great DI here coming out from Luna. 116 even on Final Destination, but unfortunately the landing option was less than desirable. Yeah, and that down air will seal the deal. Jab, up B, not going to do it, but I mean, down air will do the trick there. Cloud with not the best recovery, so uh, Sir definitely going to have to start incorporating, uh, abusing this off stage that Luna is going to be weak at. <laughs> Good, he's above me there. Not only does he stop the focus attack, but he's also able to uh, possibly stop another one as well. Luna's been really good with those upbeats, but sometimes I feel like he over throws them, and then that allows him to get hit sometimes from the closer. Not, oh, Ooh. he's still living, though. That last hit of cross flash, man. That's not going from coming with an aerial, and what a trade here. I only take the fireball, but you take the back air and the loss of the stock. Luna needs this here. Yeah. 72%. What a surprise. Luna threw out back air while ledge trap. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to Hey, man, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, man. We I mean, it, like, I just feel like Surge has to play around that. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, he, he does. It was so important that he had the lead because now that he doesn't have the stock lead, I mean, he doesn't really, he can't camp as hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, exactly. And and you really need that versus Cloud or any matchup where you have range disadvantage. You know what I mean? So yeah, him losing that on the ledge right there was so huge. Yeah, and now just put it against the Luna's oh. play here. It goes for the cross. Oh, sorry, Climb has come back on the stage. A little bit of a shield standoff here, but Luna explodes out there with the up the shield. Great option, puts Nair off the stage once more, tries to finish him off here. Ooh, man, Luna mm. is sinking deep, just like the back air, and once again, back air in the corner, and Luna is cashing out. Yeah, that really sucks for that really sucks for Luna's here because he kind of got stuck trying to anticipate Luna's cross up here. But like you mentioned earlier, having a disjoint like Cloud's back here, which still, honestly, it's still pretty good. It's it's able to just go around. You're trying to cross surge. me up? I don't need auto correct. What's up? I be reverse. <laughs> watch I'm, my I'm, de I'm definitely not. I'm not throwing any shade at Jojo. You know, I'll never do that. Man, Nito's in the chat, man. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> just, just say my name already, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know you mean me. Oh man. But, of course, here we are once again in the corner against Cloud on Final Destination. Yeah. And, I mean, this is this is the double-edged sword counter pick, I feel, because you know, it is going to be mm. tough when you are getting ledge trap because you have no platforms to, like, really ledge jump to, right? Exactly. Focus. And that pretty much leads Luna to just go ahead and dice roll one of the, six, the five options here. And maybe his option will be the six that he catches him off guard here. But maybe in play, tries to go for the down air. I like the option here. It's safe too. I, I really like how safe that was. And Luna isn't even trying to get baited in on trying to punish the re-grab. He's just staying center stage. He knows what he needs to do to win. And, yeah. And it's going to be back airing him in the corner. <laughs> yeah, fourth throw here. Speaking of putting me in corners here, Luna at the corner. He's trying to make sure he comes back on the stage. Less percent, no stock loss here. Wait a minute though. Surge sure. reads the jump here, and now oh, Luna gets a high really? recovery. You really went for that, though. <sighs> At what cost? At what yeah, cost? Yeah, I, it, he, he had all the control, really. And mm -hmm. I mean, you know what? I, I get he didn't really go for that. Like, he went for that one down air in the beginning, right? Yeah. But then, it, like, maybe just went for that because felt like maybe Luna wasn't expecting it. But I don't think it was, like, a horrible play, but it was definitely a high-risk, high-reward play. And it did not end up working for Surge there putting himself in that offstage situation. And of course, that second part of the up, you're going to spike with Cloud here for Luna. And that's going to be a really big break and a really big lead in this set. Exactly. And the one thing that Ryu has to realize is that you do extend your hurt box out there when you're going for these uh, Shoryuken. So that was really good for Luna to catch on the line. So let's go here to, like you said, right? Game three, Luna almost gets the combo off the spike from the forward air. Another opportunity here. 
Luna is slicing this man right now. But wait, Surge gonna get a grab, gonna get something started here. So Ledge Trap tries to get, give him the kicks, but ooh, ooh. dang, you trying to take me back in time, Luna. <laughs> you trying to take me back. Back to up air finishing touch. Man, those were the days, right? Cloud hype, Z fly somewhere in the chat. How <laughs> open to see it happen. Oh, I, okay, so not only is Luna going for the ledge there to possibly get a trump, but he's also going for like maybe a two frame spike there. He hasn't gotten it yet. He's been going for this whole set, but uh, that would be interesting. I mean, he's gotten an upbeat spike. Yes, he does. But The one thing that, it's, even though he's not getting it too, the fact that he still keeps it out there as a threat lets Surge know, like, okay, I have to watch out here. Unfortunately, like, one of the things that Ryu does suffer is that linear recovery plan with being Shoryu or sometimes Tatsu from the far side. Dude, I low-key feel bad for Surge because he parried uh, a back air and he like couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was literally like, oh, the one mechanic that's supposed to like Help reward me, out. me for reading <laughs> your aerial, I can't even do anything about it. Like nah. you, you can just reposition. <laughs> Yo, man, the shoe's on the other foot. Were you, what are you gonna do now? Sakurai blessed you with auto correct, man. Auto correct this one here for yourself. Yeah, and I mean, he has the rage though. Oh, man, oh, he's still living though. I mean, right? He can get a kill if he gets yes. some kind of up tilt conversion into the show. You can. It, that it will be Luna's life, and maybe you know be able to mount some kind of comeback. But right now, it just it just feels like Luna has been in control this entire set. Yes, most definitely too. Like you mentioned earlier, right? Being a part of the control is obviously that graceful backer. He kind of had a good surge. Up B recovery saves the jump here for the last second. Goes under the Hadouken, oh. but unfortunately the Tatsu. That's one difference between Ken and Ryu's Tatsu is that Ryu is a strong hit that will actually kill. Ken's is multi hits and it won't really kill. Yeah, yeah, Ken is good for like comboing or mm -hmm. tech chase situations, right? Exactly. Um, Sir definitely utilizing the killing Tatsu and again and again, up the up It's a very, very good option. Even anti or two, you don't even have to do it out of shield. And man, Luna is just cashing out with this damage, but can he get the early stock? I feel like in games one and two, he was getting a lot of these stocks at around that 120, 130 mark, right? Ooh, oh wait, what? I, I feel like I feel like Luna's hearing you, man. He said, "Can I get the early stock?" I'm like, "Yes, I can, man. I already have this I, man one I thought he off the stage. I thought he was gonna throw the blade beam. He probably that's what, probably what he wanted. <laughs> that's probably what he wanted. I was gonna say. Okay, not gonna be risky though. Okay, kind of try. Oh wait, nice Good come back. Damage. Nice. Back. I love it too because he sets up the back air on the return, waiting for the get up attack yes. as well. Exactly. And, and what has his win condition been this entire set? It's back air, that back air in the corner, and wow, two frames. But what's the ledge trap here? Yeah, back air was a Yu-Gi-Oh card, man. That card was <laughs> broken. I'm serious. <laughs> Somebody would have banned that and limited it to oh, just one card man. piece. Wait, why do you have 20 back airs in your deck? Whoa, hey, man. It's my play style. <laughs> it's my play style. Wait, what? Do you, back air, you can only have three copies, bro. <laughs> do you guys remember the, the Exodia deck? The Exodia deck in Yu-Gi-Oh? It was a stall? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That was, those were the days. <laughs> 20 so, cloud back airs. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud back here. You're allowed to have more than three of these in your deck. It's like a card effect. Right? Okay, look at this piece of out here. A great option there on the cross slash immediately after missing the back air. He kind of showed his back too to try to mix him up on that one. Yeah. Don't get the back air, get the cross slash for your approach. And Luna is making it very clear to Surge that I will not approach you when you are camping me when you're behind. Nice. I will not do it. And that's yep. the cross slash on the lead row. Not even Ryu going to survive that one. And a solid. 3-0 victory. Mm -hmm. Man, Luna.